you've lost that capacity. The joy is gone. The purpose is gone. And, and, and you are, oh, God, God, God. A crippled woman. A bent old woman. Looking down. Is that you this morning?
stand at the altar. Just like the woman crippled and confined by a spirit. An unnamed spirit. An unclassified spirit. But with an assignment that is calculated to have us crippled and confined. Oh God, we don't know if the Spirit operated in our mind, but just manifested in our physical faculties. We don't know if it was in her spine or in her feet. But God, we know that Jesus is in the house. We don't know the name. The spirits that have many crippled and confined, but we know the name Jesus. For demons tremble the sound of that name. The name of Jesus has power to save and to deliver. We call that name Jesus. 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 For that name is given above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. In heaven and under the earth and on the earth, and every tongue will confess to the glory of God the Father that Jesus Christ is Lord. God, you not only have come to straighten us out, but you have come to straighten us up. So, Father, we refuse to be bowed down. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Oh, thou in God, for I shall yet again praise him with the help of my countenance and my God. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lifted up your everlasting doors, that the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. We refuse to be crippled or confined by diabetes. We refuse be crippled and confined by kidney failure and heart diseases. We refuse to be crippled and confined by respiratory complaints. We refuse to be crippled and confined by varying forms of cancer. We refuse to be crippled and confined by depression and oppression. We refuse to be crippled by feelings of loneliness and alonement. Refuse to be crippled and confined by the spirits of worry, of fretting, and of doubt. We refuse to be crippled and confined by the spirits of fear, the spirits of lack of courage. Refuse to be crippled and confined by our past. Refuse to be crippled and confined by our academic inabilities. Refuse to be crippled and confined by the negative words that have been spoken over our lives as children. We refuse to be crippled and confined by our physical uh, anatomy. We refuse to be crippled and confined by our financial needs. We refuse. 